Good morning, everybody. It is May 5th, 2018, 5.54 a.m. Happy Cinco de Mayo. All right, guys, we're going to start off with an earthquake, 6.9 earthquake in Lilani, Hawaii. Lilani Estate, Hawaii, uh, fairly close to a volcano. Check out the amount of tremors that went on after this event. Um, I believe this was 6.30 last night, um, according to my earthquake app. If the uh, time... Uh, stamp is correct here. It says 6.32 p.m. There was a possible tsunami, uh, I guess tsunami info, a site dedicated to this that has since been canceled, which is a good thing because that is a direct line right towards California. And if you look at where the earthquake was, um, it was on the east side of the island, so that would barely, those waves would move out definitely towards the United States, that's for sure. That is a very significant earthquake. Um, there's a lot of articles about what uh, people felt. Uh, 6.9 at a shallow depth, 5 kilometers in depth. That is a very, very strong earthquake. Uh, there could be something going on with the volcanoes here. Check out these aftershocks, guys. There's an easy 60, 70 plus uh, aftershocks here that go way out into the ocean, out into the Pacific. So we got to keep an eye on this area. A lot, all these red ones were recent, so this happened in the last 5-10 minutes. The orange are fairly old going into last night. So that's what I wanted to start with tonight to let you guys know about that. Um, I'll keep you updated on any damage or possible fatalities, guys. When you get a shallow quake, uh, anything 6.0 and higher, you can pretty much guarantee there's going to be significant damage and possible life loss. So that's not a good situation going on in Hawaii. Uh, we'll keep them in our thoughts, and we will update uh, accordingly. Now we also have, all right, that was another 3.5 earthquake in Palahala, Hawaii. So uh, they're getting pretty, they're getting hit pretty hard right now. So we'll come back to that later on this afternoon, guys. Um, finally off tomorrow, so uh, we will have a lot to talk about as far as this. And uh, we are at, based on the National Hurricane Center, we have a 40% chance of uh, tropical disturbance forming. Uh, basically, right now, it's just past, we're past the Leeward Islands, we are past uh, Puerto Rico, we are past Dominican Republic, and we are moving up into the Bahamas. Now, this wave is pulling moisture from the South Caribbean here. It's pulling the moisture through the gap between the um, Dominican Republic and Cuba here, and then that wave wants to come this way. So, there is there are areas of South Florida that may be significantly affected by this. Now, even if this doesn't become a tropical... Um, disturbance, which is what the National Hurricane has posted this special report on. They usually don't open this site until June 1st when the actual season starts, but you can see, I don't know if it says it down here, they, they, they use it as an as-needed basis. So uh, this was certainly something they wanted to put on here. It is not a uh, tropical depression as of yet, or it would be this uh, red circle here. Right now we are at the X, so that disturbance, they're down to 0% chance of formation of 48 hours. Basically what that means is within the next 48 hours, if it doesn't form, uh, they basically think it's going to dissipate. But when we look at our charts, you can see it wants to actually strengthen a little bit here. And then it actually comes up the East Coast and then could cause some issues for the coast of the Carolinas because of that little bow out we have here. And even some areas in the Northeast, the um, uh, sea erosion, beach erosion, stuff of that nature, even if this thing is not a significant tropical storm or tropical depression, certainly packing a lot of moisture, and we're going to look at that now. So, all right, so here we go. You can see the, the counterclockwise rotation here, and that moisture is being pulled from underneath, just like I said, underneath Dominican Republic and Cuba right here. It's a little hard to see the outlines of the continents here. Uh, we got Florida right here in the Gulf. We have a big moisture system moving across the Panhandle, uh, South Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, that is also something the east side of the U.S. has been dealing with over the last couple of days. Luckily, it has missed me, um, and I'm just north of Philadelphia. So basically, anything north of Philadelphia, you probably won't be getting rain until Sunday. Unfortunately, that's my only day off, and of course, it's going to rain, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um... You reap what you sow. <laughs> anyway, so you see these deep colors here, these deep greens. That is Moisture City. Uh, so that you can expect a lot of rain being pulled right over the Dominican Republic right now. Even that center rotation is right over Cuba, so it's whipping all that air and all that moisture right into South Florida. It looks like it's almost going right into Miami. And as this thing rolls up the East Coast, that's when we have to start worrying about our friends in 
uh, Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina and then going up the East Coast and we're going to take a look at that. Here's just another version of that same chart showing you the moisture density we have here and it's like that strip is just being pulled right out of that warm water in the Caribbean so that's what forms these hurricanes guys when we get that 80 degree warm water belt uh, that's why these these storms uh, strengthen and form along the line here off the coast of West Africa and then they come right up through the Leeward Islands and we watched this thing for the last five or six days now and we even said uh, May 5th would be the day that this thing would either become something or not become something and the National Hurricane Center has agreed with that so um, here's our tropical weather index intensity this is the KLY Strone 9 chart that we use and you can clearly see we've had this area here highlighted uh, for a while now but now we have that tropical wave that we've been following all the way from the west coast of Africa like we said and it's kind of peaking right around now between now and the next <clears throat> sorry guys 8 to 12 hours we're gonna see what this thing does to areas of the east side of Florida and then as it moves up you can see we already have that strip of so uh, strong storms moving up through uh, just off the coasts of uh, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina and then I will show you um, on a chart coming up on Tropical Tidbits how this thing rides up the east coast. Now here's another Doppler shot of this thing. We're starting to get that clear rotation. That is what we're going to be looking at for the remainder of hurricane season which in my opinion has officially started. When we get even the chance of tropical disturbances then it's like any day, any minute, any hour something could begin to form. So they're going to be all over this. They're going to over report it I'm sure just like everyone on YouTube is going to over report it. First action of the season you can expect a lot of videos on this throughout the internet so for those of you that want information on it that's a good thing uh, another 2.7 earthquake in Palhalla Hawaii uh, Hawaii is getting slammed right now ever since uh, about last evening uh, non-stop aftershocks after that 6.9 earthquake all right so those deep reds is that same situation as we looked at here deep red is the deep green and we are looking for that because that is where the most moisture is being pulled right over Dominican Republic and that will move up towards Florida alright so here's uh, like I showed you the National Hurricane site that picked this spot as the 40 percent chance of disturbance we will keep an eye on that and our first chart here on tropical tidbits the GFS track you can start to see that moisture down here in this area and it's gonna roll up in this area and it's gonna get pretty significant right around here so we need to keep an eye on this we have a low pressure system that just moved off the East Coast and now as we move forward into the end of today and into the beginning of tomorrow you can see a big stretch of the east side here covered in moisture this will be rain all the way from Mississippi Alabama Kentucky Tennessee West Virginia that's gonna move up into Indiana Illinois and then into South PA uh, we got Chesapeake Bay in there. We have uh, the western half of Virginia is going to be involved in that. So we got a lot of moisture coming up, and then these two systems meet. This is a low pressure. This is a low pressure. We could be dealing with very significant wind issues, uh, basically from South Carolina going through the Chesapeake Bay, uh, wet east coast of New Jersey, the entire coastline moving up through Long Island, Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and then we'll see what happens with Maine. Uh, so on and so forth but look how this gets pretty significant and this strip actually touches the coast here of us uh, uh, North Carolina so people in North Carolina especially on the coast there by Sunday May 6 later on in the day you are certainly going to be feeling the effects of this low pressure is off the Adla off into the Atlantic Ocean by Monday still pulling that moisture up from the Caribbean and from that system that's moving across the US so we have two sources of fuel here so you can assure this thing's going to bring a lot of wind a lot of rain um, it's our first tropical wave slash disturbance of the season so we're gonna get just a little taste of uh, basically what's to come for the next five months guys so this is where it begins and you can see this area wants to just flare up now the water's getting warmer uh, the Caribbean waters bleeding into the Gulf so the Gulf is primed and ready uh, to take on a tropical storm or hurricane at this point and then we have also just low pressure systems moisture systems moving west to east just like we did all winter um, so basically we're just getting a little sneak peek of what's to come as we move forward into the future we could see a lot of moisture still building up in the Caribbean that that uh, moisture system wants to stay out there we got the high pressure in the Bermuda Atlantic pressing that against the coast that is why we see weather move up and then arc back out towards Nova Scotia alright guys so that's basically what we have for today we're gonna keep an eye on this tropical wave we're gonna keep an eye on the situation in Hawaii and we will keep you posted if I can get a video out around lunch today I will surely do that 
Uh, we can even see on the higher elevation charts here that this thing is measuring a lot of moisture that's being pulled over the East Coast. So what else do we got here? All right, here's a decent look at that tropical wave making its way up towards South Florida and the Bahamas. Um, and then this big strip here, guys, all the way from the Gulf and the Baja region. We got uh, storms blowing up in Mexico, and then we have this system moving in uh, from the northwest right now. So we'll be talking about this shortly. This will probably be another system that makes its way into Tornado Alley or Valley, then up to the east coast. Ventu Sky showing our rain chart rates over the next five days. Look at this, 7, 8, 9, 10 inches of rain just off the coast in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, basically just giving you an idea of what we could be expecting along the coast of the U.S. and the Gulf. Um, it's hurricane season, guys. That's what we need to look out for. Four inches of rain being stretched up the Ohio River Valley, an average of two, one and a half to two inches, maybe 2.6 in some areas. But we could see the darker those colors, the more we need to pay attention to it. All right, guys, that's it for now. Just another little chart showing our wave here, tropical wave. Here's Cuba, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Here's Florida. Here's our tropical wave. All right, guys, I will update as necessary. Everyone have a great day, and then have a great weekend. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.